Welcome to Destiny 2, a class-based first-person looter shooter. You may be asking yourself if you're new to this game, the hell am I supposed to do first? This game at the moment doesn't do a great job at explaining everything to new players such as yourself, so hopefully this guide explains it all, or at least some of it. When you first boot up the game, you'll experience a quick introductory mission within the Cosmodrome, a similar new player mission to that of Destiny 1. Play through it, get a feel of the controls and shooting. You finish it, welcome to the tower. The tower is split into four areas, the annex down here at the bottom, the bazaar which is right next to it, the courtyard here in the center which is where most of the time you'll spawn in, and of course the hangar here off to the right. Each area contains vendors related to specific activities. Vendors offer bounties and various items related to their respective activities. The annex contains Ada-1 who is the Black Armory vendor, Benedict-9940 who is the Leviathan activities vendor, and the Drifter who is the Gambit vendor. The Bazaar contains Soraya Hawthorne, who is the clan vendor, and Ikora Ray, who currently holds nothing but in the past has been a vendor. The Courtyard contains Lord Shax, who is the PvP vendor, Banshee44, who is the weapons and mods vendor, Master Rahul, who is the Engram decryptor, Commander Zavala, who is the strikes vendor, Tess Everett, who is the shop vendor, or the premium in-game shop vendor, Caddy5530, who is the postmaster, and the vault where all your extra items are stored. The hangar contains Amanda Holiday, who is a miscellaneous vendor, and Saint-14, who is the Trials of Osiris vendor. Head to Amanda Holiday in the hangar. She's a miscellaneous vendor for a reason. Talk to her. She's got Twitch Prime items if you're a Twitch Prime member, ships, and sparrows. But most importantly, she holds legacy content, which in this form are the campaigns of Destiny 2. These campaigns are available to all free-to-play players. The Red War is the first campaign, Curse of Osiris is the second, and Warmind is the third. Play through these to gain new gear, items, and to understand where Destiny 2's universe is at this point in time. The other two campaigns must be paid for and are part of the Forsaken and Shadowkeep DLCs respectively. Forsaken focuses on Cade 6, the Tangled Shore, and the Dreaming City, while Shadowkeep focuses on the Moon and our newfound Pyramid ship friend. Pick up the quest and press M. This will open your map. Press A to navigate to the left of this UI and go to Quests. Here you see the campaigns you have picked up. Click on the Red War Campaign quest. You have now marked it and can see it where it is on your map. Note the symbol it has. All Red War related content is marked with this symbol. Have at it. Run through all three campaigns. It will help you learn this game and level your character.